Yes, I know it's been a very long time and I apologize, but finally the Yakomo, the Yakomo YD2S is finally finished. Well, it's finished enough to do a video and this video is in partnership with URC. They're probably never gonna send me anything again because this has taken me, I don't wanna say it's been a year, but I reckon it's been about eight or nine months to get this project complete. I'll leave some links in the description to URC. If you're from the UK, there's a selection on the website. You can buy stuff without VAT added. So when it gets to the border and they add their VAT on, it's not gonna end up loads more expensive. In fact, some stuff, I think, if you buy it from Europe, it's cheaper than getting it from the UK. But anyway, cheers to URC for sending me the chassis kit and the servo, I think, the servo. I think everything else I bought myself. Yes, I put my hands in my own pocket for a change. So like I said, this is the YD2. This is the S version. They do, I think they do, an, is it an R version? I'm not all up on my drift chassis, but I'll stick that there. I'll give you a quick overview of what I've done to it. And then I needed to do a little bit of track maintenance. Need to redo this corner, give it a hoover or vacuum. Redo that, because that's all come unstuck. This is all unstuck as well. And there's a bit of stuff to fix over there. So we're going to get the track sorted and we're going to take it for a... Uh, for a little rip round. So let's have a closer look at it then. So you've already spoke about the chassis. I got some MST white dot tires. I think they're MST wheels as well. They're adjustable offsets. So I've got the rears out quite a bit and then the fronts a little bit less. So you can adjust them. I've just done it like that because when I show you the body fitted, you'll see that it fits quite nicely. I think I got the wheels from Slide Dynamics in the UK and I think I got the tires from Drift Manji. If you've seen the first video, you'd have seen um, already seen the motor and the ESC because that's as far as we got. We didn't have a gyro, I didn't have the program card, but it's a ten and a half turn rocket motor. These things are really good, censored. Nice bit of soldering on there. I've got a soldering video I'm doing at the moment. You might have already seen it. I think I'll probably put it up. Then we've got Hobbywing XR10 Pro ESC, 2S only that. I've not got a fan on because I don't think it really needs a fan, not at the moment anyway. I've got the Wi Fi program on there. That means you can program it on them. Um, means you can use your phone to um, to get in there and program it. You can use a wired programmer as well. And then we've got this three axis gyro. This is the new one from blah, 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 a, a kit or whatever it's called. Is it on a sicky, I think? Anyway, that's the newest one that they do. I think three axis just means that you can mount it in different uh, positions and it'll still work, but that's in there now. And I know some of you guys in the drift scene like your posh radios. I'm going all out with this. 30 quid Dumbo RC for the time being. I do have some slightly better ones, but it's uh, functional at the moment. And other than that, nothing's changed since the first one, apart from I've got the body mounts on. Someone got a little bit salty with me about my uh, my magnets on there for uh, the mounting of it. Look, at the end of the day, if it works, then it works. It doesn't matter what they look like or whether I've mounted them right. I've used the existing holes in there for it. I think, uh, if anything, that's quite innovative. You haters. I've also adjusted the battery tray. It was uh, long that way, like that. Now I've put it like that so that I can get a little shorty across there. I just think it's probably a little bit better for the weight distribution and it just looks a bit neater. Talking of weight, before we stick the body on it, I'm gonna stick it on a scale so you can see the weight of it and the distribution of it. Um, I'll put actually, we'll put the ready to run MST on there as well, just to compare um, without a battery and then with a battery. This is the Sky RC corner weight system, really, really handy, not just for drifting, but for drag cars, for crawlers and everything. Get a little app and you can get the details on your screen. What I do is I'll screenshot that and you see we've got a 59% um, of the rear there. So we've got nearly 60% rear bias, 41 at the front. Uh, and then left and right is 50-50, that's really good. And even, you know, the crossover's not too bad. I think ideally that should be 50-50, but we've got 52 to 40, so 47, 48, so not bad. Right, let's put a battery in just to see how it changes. So you can see now that's not really changed the front to rear bias, but what that has changed is that cross weight is now nearly 50-50. That is really good, I'm really impressed with that, and I'm quite pleased with how that's set up. It's, it seems pretty well balanced. Whether that's good for a drift car, I don't know, because I, I don't know what's good and what's bad. Let's put the MST on just to compare. So this is a stock MST. I've changed the motor position on it. So I'll put the motor to the top. So that should give it a bit more rear bias. So dry weight, again, rear biased, uh, 5743. And then your crossover is nearly 50-50 about a battery. Um, yeah, not too bad, actually. The ready-to-runs are set up by MST from the factory. So I'd say I've not done a bad job on that, really, have I? 
Now suspension, I've gone relatively soft at the rear, a bit firmer at the front, but definitely I've gone for uh, quite soft at the rear. Again, suspension tuning is everything on these. The same as steering geometry. Again, I've not really done much to it because this, uh, this is where the, the learning bit comes in, is you just fiddle about with it, try little bits and pieces, see what works, see what doesn't. And this is something I'm planning on doing over the next sort of 12 months or so. I'm gonna try and get out to a few drift clubs, give it a go, adjust a few bits, change a few bits, and um, yeah, hopefully we'll have this dialed in pretty well. Anyway, let's stick the body on. So I see a lot of people go like JDM and stuff. I went the complete opposite and we went for American Muscle. Yes, look at that. It's a Trans Am. Look at the colour, the colour is awesome. This was painted by Shark Fat. I'll leave a link as well to his um, Facebook page in the description. That is not a decal, that is painted. If I try and hold it up to the light, look, you can see it's, Look at that. How cool is that? Let me know what you think in the comments about that. I think it looks amazing. Such a nice color. I was gonna go for clear headlights with um, like light buckets, but I struggled to, um, struggled to find any or do them. But in the end, I was too impatient, so I just went for stickers. The wheels fill the arches nice, look, rear, and then the front. It does sit a bit lower once it's got a battery in it, but man. The charge the battery. This is CNHL. I use CNHL stuff all the time. In fact, I've already got a couple on there that I've been charging. Um, but yeah, recommend these. Really good batteries, really good price. While the battery's charging, I'm going to sort the track out and then uh, let's go for a Let's rip. give this thing a go. Remember, this is stock box settings. So default settings that it tells you in the instructions. I have had a few goes, so I've got used to it. And I'll tell you what, for the box settings, I think it's actually all right. Um, straight away, I'll tell you, it's not as, I don't feel that I've got it dialed in as much as the MST is out of the box. But as you can see, well, <laughs> as you can see, it's not too bad. Oh. So I did have a comment a little while ago. Is this in slow motion when I done the MST one? Look, come on. Give me a break, I'm still learning. It's a slow track. I can't go too fast because I trash stuff. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm not sure the body's meant to fit like that. On the subject of slow motion, I was driving it one-handed. It's not all that easy, you know, you try it. You try to go fast and go one-handed like this. I bet you can't. So again, the MST. Um, one-handed, I found it, um, again, relatively easy to control. This one's a little bit more twitchy. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, but still. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> I think I got that one. Anyway, this thing, I like it. I think it is all right. It is a decent, I don't say, say starter build. It's not a starter build, is it? But yeah, nice kit. Well done, Yakomo. Oh. So in the last video, people did ask what, um, what they go like on like a concrete or a, a smoother surface. This is quite a dirty surface. It is painted. These are just generic. They're, um, they're MST tires. They're off of the FTX Banzai. They're actually got quite a bit of grip. <laughs> it's a bit twitchy, but you can see, it's still, you can still drift it. Yeah, a bit, bit more grip on here. It's not, uh, not sliding around as easy, but you need a bit more speed. But yeah, dry, again, drives well. Once you've got, uh, got the hang of it and the characteristics, it's definitely much twitchier on this surface. 